So, during this Christmas, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, which is from the TV special way back when in 1966, which is aired on CBS, and later this year, which is on NBC, and to celebrate the 55th anniversary to How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Ah, yes. That's awesome. So, time to start the video, shall we? Hey guys, I'm Eric Creel, and this is Amphibia, Disney Television Animation, Walt Disney Animation Studios, and Ultra Lounge Fan 2002. And welcome back for this year's of doing some video stuffs. Last year, because I already did my Alvin and the Chipmunks 07 review. It looks amazing, far from my childhood favorites. And today is my... Christmas month! Ah yes, I could not wait to talk about my Christmas relatives on every single theatrical release films, TV specials, and TV episodes. Oh boy, I cannot wait to talk about some Christmas relatives. And I here today to do my review on Fred Claus. Came out in 2007, when I was five years old when this movie came out. For the plot, we have Fred, who wants to do something random stuff. He's being jealous about what happened to Fred. And then Fred wants to go to the North Pole to meet Nicholas. And then they like to find a way to do some imagination things happen to do some random stuffs. And then basically what happens is when Nicholas has felt bad for what happened during Christmas, and then suddenly when Fred becomes Fred Claus, and they like to do to deliver all the presents from the neighborhood. And then suddenly, when Clyde, you know for the boss, when Clyde wants to do something to shut down the Santa's workshop this recently, and then what happens when it's up to Fred and Nicholas to behave Clyde to bring back to the Santa's workshop and to see some of the approval ratings to how many neighborhood love Christmas every day. And then when suddenly happens is when Fred and Nicholas all live together in one good place in New York City and they all live a Merry Christmas. And that's basically the plot for the entire film. What have I heard of Fred Claus? Ah yes! That movie is so underrated comedic masterpiece. I always remember watching the DVD copies of Happy Feet and TMNT. They play Fred Claus trailer. I was like, cool. And then I watched this movie online for free for this yesterday in the morning. And then what do I think of it? This movie is one of the most underrated comedic masterpiece I've ever had to watch this movie online for free this yesterday. The story looks pretty good. The writing is not that bad. The special effects look really amazing. The humors look really silly at the best. The characters we have Fred. He is amazing. Which is played by Vince Vaughn. Ah yes, Vince Vaughn did a really great job who played Fred. And then we have Nicholas. He is amazing. From my favorite character of the entire film. So, which is played by no other than Paul Jim Body, which is the same cast who played Stan Beals, the exterminator guy from the Ant Bully, Rhino from the Amazing Spider-Man 2, and you know the rest. Including Santa's Elves. They're awesome. DJ Elf looks so awesome at the very simple way. And you know during the scene when DJ Elf plays in the background, it looked really amazing. That will be me playing my favorite song of all time, Lead the Way, from my favorite movie of all time, Raya and the Last Dragon. That look amazing. And also, me playing the Ghost and Molly McGee songs, which these are really incredible. 
including Clyde. You know, the boss who wants to start it in the villain at the end. And later on, he needs to become a behavioral good person at the end. He looks really nice, which is played by no other than Kevin Spacey, which is the same cast who play Hopper from Disney Pixar's A Bug's Life. All kinds of characters are really amazing. The soundtracks look awesome, and including Surfing Bird played in the background. It looks really amazing. Just when you know, Surfing Bird was Peter Griffin's favorite song of all time from Family Guy. And that will be some Peter Griffin's favorite movie of all time. And then we have Santa Claus is Coming Back to Town. Ah, yes, which is performed by the king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley. Ah, yes, I love Elvis Presley. He's an absolute legend. So, the music scores look really amazing. I have no complaining and no negative about this movie, because Fred Claus is an absolute underrated comedic masterpiece if you are a fan of Christmas. And the scenes look really awesome. And I really like how the humorous scenes look really epically funny. To look how hilarious it is. So, overall, Fred Claus is really good. In my personal opinion. So, I gave Fred Claus a 10 out of 10. It is amazing, brilliant masterpiece. And this concludes my review on Fred Claus. Tell me, what do you think of this movie? Let me know down below in the comment section. And stay tuned for tomorrow is my review on Disney's Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Oh boy, it's coming on Disney Plus for tomorrow. If you want to see more videos to my YouTube channel, click subscribe, click the notification bell, whatever you want. Thanks for watching. And stay tuned for more Christmas-related reviews is coming on the way. And stay tuned for the next two days is my TV episode review on Amphibia Froggy Little Christmas. Ooh boy, I cannot wait to talk about my favorite holiday TV episode of all time. So, goodbye.